What's with the random dude? Anyway, let's fucking get into this shit. This is episode five of season three, The Fog. Great movie. The first one. The reboot doesn't exist as far as I'm concerned. Can we just discuss how great the intro is? I love the opening credit sequence. It's awesome. Great aesthetic, right? And the song is awesome. Oh, let me guess. Bobby's being an asshole. Oh, my goodness. Of course, here. Take mine. Dumbass. We're not going off on a we're not off to a good start here. And Sally told Becky Pearson she should save some for the fish. And Becky ignored her. And Sally hit the back of her head goddamn and her right. face when into Kick the that ass. Sometimes you gotta educate on a schoolyard, goddammit. Hair pulling, scratching. She beat that ass. She the children poke pencils into her sides when she's sitting because they think she Jesus. can feel it. Sally doesn't do that, does she? No. Sally just beat her but ass. My father passed away last week. Yeah. Week before, two weeks now. And um, Sally had to punish somebody for that. <laughs> you should feel terrible, bitch. It has not been easy. No, she's very empathetic. I, I'm just giving her a hard time. Sally so didn't mention him? Why didn't you call us, sir? Yeah, Wasn't it's your fault. Note? Did she go to the funeral? Why would we put her through that? Wow, them? you're not giving her any closure, man. Graveyards. Children go to funerals? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, now I realize why she was asking all those questions about Medgriver's murder. She was? <laughs> we can talk about this another time. No, I'm not as upset as I look. I, I you are as upset. You're like, she can't handle anything involving death. Wow. Unbelievable. I Don's going to try to hit that. It's not a good time. There is a very special pain to losing someone no at that shit. age. I don't know if you can understand that. I think you can, actually. I can. He, he's he, Don is in there, man. Look at this shit. Don is fucking in there. I saw that look. Because I just want to put her behind us. Yeah. I really We're gonna give her a week's detention okay and some boxing lessons. It's going to be a beautiful summer. <laughs> I see, you, Sally. Dispensing justice. <laughs> Seventy-five cents. Hot check. Oh damn! He's scrutinizing. Dude, restaurant. That is never good, man. It's never good when they start scrutinizing your expense report. 1944. Scrutinizing. It's better to have a bit of Don Draper than no Don Draper. Yeah, smartass. Draper, and you put in for $70, and he put in for 82 If I were lying, wouldn't I have made it a round yeah. number? Not that Don's lying. Yeah. <laughs> I signed his receipts, didn't I? Which brings us to the undocumented oh, portion shit. of my assessment pencils, pens. Pads, paper, and postage that are currently being consumed suit a company four times our size. He's not here for this shit. Kiss his ass. It has also been brought to my attention that a credenza. Yeah, he's out of here, man. <laughs> Kiss his ass. <laughs> he literally just walked the fuck out. Big dick energy. Someone helped Ken cherry pick all of Bert's successful accounts, and I've been left <laughs> with the dogs. Admiral's not a dog. You whined Those are bitch. flat. It's all over their memos. In the eye with nothing. Except maybe new creative. <laughs> now you're interested. Fuck off. Lois caught her scarf putting paper in the zero. Oh, shit. Maybe when Joan leaves, I can finally get rid of her. <laughs> Did you get <laughs> 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 You got a winner there. Does anybody you? do any fucking work? You know, dumbass. Why, thank you, Bird's Eye. Does the watch say Bird's Eye on it? No, it says Hamilton Electric. What time is it? What time isn't it? <laughs> Douchebag. Rose happy. We're happy. They're not happy. <laughs> Morris, comma, in reference to retooling the factory for London Fog Children's and. Man, oh, this is why the episode's called Fog. Okay. Thought I'd bring you the minutes to the meeting since you had to run off. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your chicken shit, nickel dime bullshit. You're wasting paper. I'd have to make a thousand to keep up with your department. <laughs> We've tried it before and it never works. 
Usually this emotional. <laughs> oh, so it's about you his feelings, huh? Think of the men's morale, not just your own. You've obviously seen Rage on the River Quiet. <laughs> I've seen everything. <laughs> you have my tickets. <laughs> That's right. I expense all these goddamn movies. That's right. I'll take your drink too, bitch. Your Uncle Herman is on the line. He won't leave a message. Tell Uncle Herman to eat my ass. Who is this? It's Peter. Dottie's boy. You called me? It's Duck. Duck Phillips. Yeah. I, Duck. Well, I guess he's alive then. My name is Herman. You know that. <laughs> Except that I actually have an Uncle Herman and he's 91. That's a oh, sick shit. joke. I apologize. It's been too long. Yeah. Where the fuck have you been, asshole? What's that like? People walking around the halls all the time, laughing their heads off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have lunch, you know. I won't waste your time. Haven't I always been on your side? Well, that is true. When? I'll have my girl call your girl. Oh, <laughs> say it's Clorox. <laughs> okay. I know I've been kind of salty about this. Maybe I was just in a bad mood the other day. I don't know. I mean, I actually had Don eating his brains. So I think it's safe to say, yes, I was in a bad mood. I kind of like this. It pains me to admit this, but I kind of fucking like this. They don't say shit. See, I thought they were never going to bring up Duck again. That's what pissed me off. I really did. You know, it's just like, you know, because it happened with Profiler. There was a main fucking game. He was a protagonist. He's one of the seven leads in the, the series. He's part of the unit. And at the end of one season, at the end of the season, it was a cliffhanger too. The next season picked up right at that cliffhanger. And he was at the location of Red, and then he all of a sudden he wasn't there, and they never fucking mentioned him. They don't mention why he disappeared. He was just gone. Like he never existed. They never fucking explained it. He wasn't there at the location where he'd been literally 30 seconds earlier on screen time, even though there's a half, there's an off season in between. He's just fucking gone, man. Shit pisses me off. Just lazy writing. But the, now they're bringing it back, right? So now we can read between the lines. Reading between the lines, there was a power struggle. Don said it's me or Duck. And Duck said it's me or Don. One or the other. Probably Duck. It's me or Don. And they were like, we need Don to make this work. So they forced Duck out. Even though he's the one that made the deal, right? Forced him out. That allowed Don to come back. And they said, look, we got rid of Duck. You know, we'll give you a little bit of autonomy, which we've kind of seen. He kind of has, like, equal power. And, by the way, Peter's not head of accounts. Because, remember, he bitched about that a couple episodes ago. Where if Duck had stayed, Peter would have been head of accounts, right? So, so now, we can, now I, I can see the narrative in my head. I can see how it went. And it's kind of cool that they make us figure this out. I, I have to admit, I like that they made us figure this out. That's why Peter stayed where he, pretty much stayed where he was. Even though now he's kind of like co-head, right? But he, he pretty much stayed where he was because Duck was forced out. Because it was either, you know, it's either Don or Duck, right? Fucking hell. I hate being wrong. I really, really hate being wrong. But I have to say, I was wrong, man. I don't apologize for my saltiness. But I do acknowledge I was wrong. And I should have given the show more time. Although, I will say, four episodes is a long fucking time to wait. That's a quarter of a season. So, you know, really it's a third of us. It's almost a third. Because it's 13, right? You know, so, uh, they made us wait almost a third of a fucking season. But okay, fine. I have to admit that I like this. <laughs> God damn it. I also have to admit, this new storyline is kind of intriguing. Now, we know Peter's not going to leave. He's the main character. They fucking, the show loves him. They call it Creator's Pet, by the way. You can tell when the writers love a specific character. Cordelia. You know, uh, Buffy and Angel, right? There was no fucking reason for her to go over to Angel. None. It just made no narrative sense. They kind of shoehorned it in. You know, and, and they actually had to do a bunch of uh, backloaded uh, retroactive recon bullshit at the end of season three to explain why she'd even need to be in uh, on this, the next show. And then at the beginning of the next show, they had to do a bunch more fucking explaining to explain why she'd be on that show, right? So, But because she was a creator's pet. She kissed John Sweden's ass, whatever, you know. But you can tell when there's a creator's pet. And, um... I, Peter and Peggy are both creator's pets. You can tell that. 
they're getting a massive uh, lion's share of the storylines. You want home? Hell no. I'll get it. Yeah. Hello. Mr. Draper? Yes? This is Suzanne no. Farrow. He is fucking in there, I'm telling you, man. I'm not interrupting dinner, am I? She wants to be, though. Look at her. No. I just felt I should call and apologize about our meeting this morning. He likes what? this shit. <laughs> well, I, uh... You see, I got really wet. My father died when I was eight. She and can definitely relate. I guess I can look, get a little caught up in things and lose perspective. Want to get caught up together? Look at him, man. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> grinning and shit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling. I'm embarrassing myself. Hey, you want to do lunch? No, you're fine. <laughs> He's not rushing her off the phone, is he? If there's anything I can yes. do... Thanks for the <laughs> Now he's got to go to this fucking ear and blast wife. Time to go. Okay, we're going. Let me get my keys. Dude. They're in your <laughs> hand. Dumbass. Dude, it's your third kid. You should be on this shit. Who was that? No one. Oh, shit. That's how you know he's in there. That's how you know he's in there, God damn it! Look, I don't like him cheating. I've called him a douchebag many times for him cheating. Trust me. We sent you home before? No, third baby. But um, for some reason, I ship him. I like the the teach. She's got. I like the chemistry of those two had. And she's not the usual trash she dates, right? It probably doesn't hurt that I love the actress from uh, Timeless and just saw her in uh, True Detective season two. So you know it's silly, but she's I'm getting around. Trouble with this. Great actress. Are you planning to give the baby the breast? No. Yeah. Oh, toast, cottage cheese, pineapple. That's a <laughs> terrible ass lunch. What are you thinking? Terrible fucking lunch. Oh, <laughs> my